All right, so we made it. There's the man, the man, the myth, the legend, Johnny Bravo. Made it out to his crib. Let's go see what's inside. Johnny Five? Johnny Five. Not four. <laughs> AKA Bravo. And I came bearing gifts this time. Right, right. No. Killer. You Thank go. you. I'll mm. put, awesome. I'll put it on the stack. Yeah, hell yeah. Sweet. Yeah. Come on in. Get so, out of the cold to the not quite as cold. Yeah. It's you. Ooh, yeah. The bottom end's all done. I just. Uh, he has like some gnarly solid lifter cams and he's thinking about, he hadn't decided if he wanted to go with a solid roller cam, so I'm not going to put it to, you know, put it right. all the way until he figures out what he, what he ultimately wants. Gotcha, but, gotcha. And these are from when you were a kid, right? Those are my dad's and my uncle's. When they I were kids? I nicer ones in the house, but. Wow. Those, that one, the, the, the ambulance was nice, but both of my little brothers freaking <laughs> trashed them. And then that red truck on top used to have a stock trailer with it, but my brothers paint colored it. And had, mm. You know, I I was the kid that they had to smear frosting <laughs> on my face on my first birthday. You know, but, yeah. But so I always took good care of my stuff. But they hammered it. Are these are these Deco or something like that? What's the name? Do you know? That one I think is nylon. Oh no, this is a this is, is a Tonka. Tonka. Yeah, yeah. Those, are, that, those are Tonkas on top. Oh yeah? Wow, I see a little red express right there. Yeah. Fat Tonka when I was a baby. Yeah. And they used to be made out of metal. Were they the plastic now? Yeah, Jinso. I wanted to I wanted to show you because I was doing yeah. oh, I got my glasses. Um because why I'm into all this stuff, you know, I told you, oh, I forgot. I got to get the build sheet. Hang on. I got to get the window sticker. Because okay. I think I showed you that before. But the window sticker for which one? The Challenger? The pink Roadrunner. Oh, yeah. I never saw that. No, oh, bring that out. Yeah. All right. Thanks. We'll pick up there. Actually, let's look around more stuff. Actually, yeah, let's pick up there. Oh, there's the original thing for Sonny's Camaro. Got the protecto plate and all that. Jeez. How long she had the Camaro for? 1989. Wow. Yeah, that, all that Camaro yeah. stuff in there you can check out. I love stuff like this. Love it, love it, love it. What's this? Oh, some maintenance? Yeah. 1969. Wow. Richfield. Where's Richfield? Is that up here? And I think that's a company. It was from Camano Island she lived on. Wow. Uh, wow, 1969. That's cool. 67 Camara. Yeah, that's dope. There's a protecto plate. Wow. Oh, yeah, there it is. Boom. That's amazing, yeah. Kind of grubby. Yeah, little. Camino Island. Seventh Motor Company, January 23rd, 1967. Wow, that's dope. That's the priceless, man. I think 1937? Oh, no, 67. It's all smudged. Warranty. Oh, you well, got two of those. You don't need this one. I'll take that. Stuff like this, man. Good old bumper jacks. Those are so sketchy. All right, let's see what you got. Who's that, George Clooney? My brother. <laughs> Who's this? Yo, that's my great grandma. Wow, what was her name? Lois Waller. Wow. She lived in she lived in Everett in the same block from 1900 to 1989. Jeez. Jeez. Right here. Look at this. Let's see the focus. There we go. Dang, that thing's loaded. N96, the most important part. D21. and Oh, yeah. And, and the, the D21. E87. Ooh, man. This thing's loaded. 
like that. And it's a California car, so you can't really fake the fender tank. Right. Well, yeah. I mean, they don't make accurate ones. Yeah. Supposedly, I don't know. But I know that's the original one. It was purple when I got it, but somebody, somebody, uh, somebody spilled some battery stuff. So that's the reason I'm into these cars. This is the window sticker. For the mm. 70 Roadrunner my mom and dad ordered brand new. My mom picked the color, and if you look right there, FM3. Panther pink. Wow. And our Moulin Rouge. Yeah. And there's a picture of it in August 71 when my brother was just born. Can you bring that closer? In North Dakota. There we go, just like that. Wow. And my mom. Striping all. Air grabber, hood pins. Air grabber? Jeez. Hood pins. No bright I, exhaust tips, but. Was that 1971? Yeah, August 71. Mm. And who's this? Oh, that's my niece. That's just my wife's aunt, my wife's niece, actually. And then what's this one? That's my old, that's my ENCODE 3 SE 70. That was loaded. That thing had everything. Cruise control, six-way seat adjust, three-speaker dash, rear defroster, leather interior. It had all the stuff. That, I, I wish I'd, the only reason I sold that car mm -hmm. was because I got the black TA. And the lady that worked at the licensing place she gra she graduated in 1970, and her dream car was a Plum Crazy 70 Challenger. Oh and I, yeah! And God blessed me, and right. I had all this cool stuff. And so she was telling me, oh, "If you ever find one and everything," and and she knew I had that one. And so I told her I'd sell it to her, and so I had it appraised. And at that time, 2007, it appraised for 16 grand. But I sold it to her. A for, seventy challenge. Wow. Yeah. What? But, but I I sold it to her for seventy five hundred. Yeah. And then she Jeez. and then she went and uh, restored it. And then oh, so it was a project. It wasn't fully no, done. Oh, okay. Well, no, I mean it was original. You know, I mean. Gotcha, it was, gotcha. It, 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 but it didn't. The paint. You know how Plum Crazy kind of goes bad. So it, yeah. it kind of the paint needed to be redone. So she redid the paint. But I mean, no, the interior was gorgeous. Everything yeah. was gorgeous, but had the Hemi, and I don't know why, but it had a Hemi transmission cooler on it, factory one, and the Hemi power steering cooler on the, you know, for the the fin thing. Yeah. But um, I don't know if somebody put that on there or what, but, but anyway, it was really awesome because she got cancer, and I remember the last time I saw her was, I don't remember what year, the last time they had the Mopar show at, at Bellevue Community College, mm -hmm. and she came up to me and she cried and she hugged me wow. and said thanks for making her dream come true because then you know shortly after that she passed away Jeez. and then i wanted the car back but then somebody who knew who it was wouldn't tell me where it was because i always told everybody i ever sold a car if you sell it i want get first off yeah yeah no that's nobody's ever honored that not one person but, yeah, you know they came running when she uh when she started getting ready to pass but then they they sold it for nuts, and then I seen it at the Graham show, and guy put an RT stripe and a wing on. I mean, he just really? he just I put a picture of it. Then yeah, what we got here? But so this is that car. See, here's a picture of it. My uncle's in 1970, wow. and see the license plate DHP 625. There's the Kiwanis, the Kiwanis thing they used to wow. give for the you know. My mom gave me that, and then. So wait, wait. So when you buy it, not new, you got one of these? No, in the old days, the I think it was the Kiwanas. Yeah. They would come around and they'd make these and give these to people hmm. for their license plate, and then you donate money to them. Oh, so, gotcha. Uh, one RM twenty three NOE one five one five six five. Yeah. Plymouth Roadrunner hot pink one five one five six five. So this is the keychain when it was brand new. Jeez. And I was there that day with my mom. I was only, I wasn't quite three years old yet. And honestly, I, <laughs> I don't really remember it. But, but my mom and I, we put like 150 miles on it the first day. Wow. And, uh, and so anyway, you know, and I got some other... There's a now it's sitting in a garage and here's oh. the, and here's a picture of after my dad sold it to his buddy he wrecked it so you can it got painted in the front end well the car got painted but he wrecked the front end and you see there's no hood pins on it anymore oh uh, wait is it still an air grabber or no yeah it's an air grabber but no is hood it? pins yeah it was a B5 blue GTX oh I see it I see the outline who's this in front of it that's his friend Terry has it now gotcha and i've tried everything to buy it and he won't sell it to me you know it's been sitting that's what it looks it's like actually i got pictures in this 
Jeez. Right. He should have this car, man. This is upside down, I think. Dream car, yeah. you know? mm -hmm. That's why I have all this stuff. Right. So you were literally born and bred into this. Yes. It's not about money. Oh, that's up on Highway 2, up by Index, where everyone swims around there. That's where I, I one time I saw that car there hanging on there. Oh, so somebody it, didn't put this there as a prop. No, it, roll, it went through off where that rock wall is. It rolled over and rolled down and came to rest right wow. there. Wow. Super gnarly under it. So I just wanted to show you that. That's but, cool. But what, you got, what you got? Oh, I'm looking for the pictures of it. The Roadrunner, that's my old RT coin. That's what I sold to get that car. I wish I never sold this car. Is this the A12 one or no? Yeah, yeah. Oh my God, yep. Look at them steelies with the chrome lug nuts. But this was also a four speed too. Did you live here still? Is this this house? No, that's on Camino Island. Oh, already. wow. You had an A12 car. How long did you sell that? Uh, 2003. Yeah, man. I know those pictures are in there somewhere. One of these things. I just wanted to show you the how the yeah, how that roadrunner looks now. Oh, sitting in the uh, sitting in the garage, you know. It's, well, is it's it like, in the garage at least or no? Sitting, yeah, it's inside. It's been sitting in the same place since 1976. Well, here, turn turn this way so I can at least somebody can like slow the video down go ahead uh, there's my challenger my dad's model a we went to this is at cashmere and i don't know 2004 or something wow or no 1994 not Jeez, that's a big difference yeah 1994 yeah. yeah 94 you had these cars because you really liked them they weren't exactly yeah. investments yet oh yeah there, there's the cars sitting how long ago were these pictures taken oh probably like 2000 1999 that's when and it's still sitting in the same spot wow why why did it get parked do you remember because the ignition i rode in it the last time it was driven was 1976 and the ignition switch was going bad in the mm. column and then he parked it and then it just went to crap. Yeah. If I ever if he ever sells it to me, I'll get you, and you can. Oh do a yeah, video let's go I'll, get it. Because sure. I'll be I'll be bawling. Yeah. I'll be crying because I'll be it's crying. Like my, <laughs> this is a beautiful man. Yeah. Wow. And so this is so. This, this is the TA where I found it. We gotta go. How far is this from here? It's in Mount Vernon. How how many how many minutes from here? Probably about twenty minutes. We gotta go. We gotta do a follow up and go where you actually got it. Is the trailer park still there? Yeah. And we gotta go to the exact spot you got it out of because people were tripping that you got it out of a trailer park. So. Yeah, and there's a pic. That's how it was sitting when I found it. When I could see it because. Mm. It's just it was it had a. He put a tarp over it at one point, but it was just sitting there. And that's why, like, one of the scratches on the side of it was from the lawnmower. Mm -hmm. And the window got broken from a rock out of a lawnmower. Oh, yeah. And what's this? Oh, that that's a Survivor uh, Roadrunner that a guy I know in, in Spokane has. But he just painted it. But his original paint, he bought it. It wasn't new. He bought it in, like, 1970 with, like, 1,500 miles on it. Gotcha. But anyway, that was that. What else you got cool up in there uh, before you show us the place? Uh, Wait, so, show me, show me your. You got pictures of the um, A12. I love A12 cars. Yeah, let's see. Right, yeah, let's see what we got up in here. You gotta yes. keep all this. So that. Let's put this right here. So why did you sell this, man? Because oh. I because because of September 11th, and I was getting laid off from the yeah. morning. If I wouldn't have sold this car, I'd still have it today. Okay, wait. So when that happened, what all did you sell? So you sold this. Right around then, right and around then September 11th. And green challenger I'm going to show you here. Okay. Uh, but you sold you sold the RT before? I sold the RT to buy to that. To buy this. That was a good move. So, that was a good move. But this was a Dana Ooh. four speed, though, so it was bucket seat, so it was killer, too. I mean, it was a yeah, nice car. It was it was actually probably a better car than that, but, mm -hmm. but that was a pretty good car. Yeah. That was before I had a lot of money. That was my 73 satellite. Ew, which, I did not like this body style at all. Some but, people like it. I did not But it was a really clean car, you yeah, know I mean? And you get what you can get. You yeah, know? they're usually loaded, too, at that, and that point. Again. 
That was my my first challenger, a slant six, oh, ice wow. blue with deep. So, all right. So my um my cousin King, we were in the shop the other day, and he saw one of my uh die casts. Matter of fact, the the um the Roadrunner. Was it a Roadrunner in, in Fast and Furious that lady drove in oh, 70? Yeah. Was it a Roadrunner or GTX? I think it was. I think it was Roadrunner. Anyway, he saw a die cast of it one. and was like, yo, what is this? I like, that's a 70 Roadrunner. He's like, man, I think that's my favorite car now. You know, so I was like, oh, my buddy has one of those, you know, naturally. So, yeah, this is like, I told him he couldn't come in this room just yet until we came in there. So, how, how are you feeling? You feeling cool? You soak it in? You need a minute? Let me turn the lights off, light a candle. <laughs> and this car originally had the deluxe black bench seat in it, but but my my dad when he was paint gonna paint that blue robe and to send you the pictures, he 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 said I could put these seats in there. So I sacrilegiously poked extra. Holes no, it's in the perfect. Floor and, and then you know he passed away, and it's like now those seats are gonna stay in there forever because right. it's like it reminds me of my dad. Yeah, and and, then, and the light works. So yes, people, he does drive. Matter of fact, you just took a road trip. Where'd you go again? Oh, uh, Lewiston, Idaho. No trailer. Hopped in and dip. And then I, that console right there is actually the console out of the six-pack Super B. Mm. So I kept that when I sold it. And, uh, I love that you drive your stuff. That's why we're friends, man, because you actually drive your stuff. And drive it more, but I'm too scared to drive it to work anymore because people are ripping stuff off and everything, you know, and I don't yeah. want it to get... But you, but you drove it to Idaho. Yeah. Much props for that, my man. It's filthy on the back. Cause love it. I love it. Right? No, it's, it's nice. Man. It's got hips on it. You know? It's nice. I mean, this of course, is, all my cars, they have 295, 50. Got to that. have it. Got to have it. I know that the 275, 60 gets no, more traction. No, I just no. like the look, you know? Yeah. So this, this is the one. So when I posted the video of the Challenger, everyone's like, oh, that's Johnny. That, that, I saw that car rolling after me. This is the car, the myth, the legend. This thing gets driven everywhere. I've driven it. It is stupid fast. Um, tell, me, tell me the story again about how you found this car. Well, I'm getting old now. I can't remember. <laughs> but it was just, it, it was, it was, I knew it was in Mount Vernon, the word from some of the Mopar guys or whatever. Mm -hmm. And that it was in this trailer park or something. So I drove around looking for it. <laughs> you out there slumming, huh? And then I found it and I knocked on the, I knocked on the door and then the guy, you know, he wasn't really wanting to sell it at that point. So, so I just kind of kept in contact with him, and then I found this other one, a 383 RT. And so I went back over there, and I, you know, I knocked on his door and I said, "Hey, if you, uh, you know, I, I found his name was Mark Stender, and I said, I, I found this other car, that, but I'd really rather buy your car. I love your car, you know, whatever." And and. and so he said he would sell it to me. And the, the, the really gracious thing is that he'd been offered like twice as much as I offered him for it, but but he liked me. And then for whatever reason. I don't know why he liked you. You're an ass. But <laughs> my wife probably thinks so sometimes. Nah. But, but my brother, my family. But, uh, but no, so I, so I, uh, you know, he sold it to me. And then the funny thing is, is when I went to go pay for it, I offered him twelve thousand five hundred for it, and he said yes. And then, and then when I when I uh, went there to go give him the money, he said, "Well, you better keep you better keep two thousand of it because you need money to work on it." So he actually Man. sold it to me for you know two th ten thousand five hundred, which was a lot of money at that time for me. You know, it was gross. Yeah, had to have it though. But but. I know he's smiling down on you, though, because you be using this joint, yeah, man. Yeah, and he passed away, too, you know? So there's people that have offered me a lot of money for it. Oh, yeah. I got I got blown up. I got so many messages saying, hey, did your buddy want to sell a challenge? Did your buddy want to do that? I was like, I didn't respond back. Like, nah, man, it ain't for sale. If it was for sale, it would have been a for sale video. So, mm -hmm. nah. Yeah, I mean, it's like I can't really. Nah, some things you got to honor, man. And, and it's like, and plus I don't want to sell. I mean, yeah. You know, I mean, it's like, and if you did, then how would you, know, where would you get another one? And, and you know, and it's hard because, oh, I got those, I remember last time, I don't know if you lost that video, but I had these, 
so my dad, he was really in the, that's why he was really in the car racing. He lived in Everett, and and he would put all these Arlington drag strip things out of the newspaper, mm -hmm. and then uh, and then he would hitchhike out there every weekend. He would hitchhike, break. literally. Yeah. Wow. So I need to get these things like matted in a good frame. That this is what he had it in, and I just no, kind leave of it left this it way. There. But this is how he intended it. But you know, those are real Everett Herald newspaper clippings of the Arlington drag strip back in the '60s. Wow, all the local people definitely remember this stuff. And uh, wow. And yeah. so I always, I, I actually had it in there because from the 1965. Jeez. Because the uh, mom was even born yet. The Arlington Drag Strip reunion, I take it out there. I think someday I'll probably donate it to the Arlington or, Museum. You or know? make, but no, just make color copies of them. They'll come out looking just like this and then give them that and you keep this. That's how you do it. Oh, if man. you have any help with that, let me know. I'll come up and do it. Okay. So, well, I'm no, going to die just, someday, so I don't want to. Well, let's do it not too soon. Well, no, I mean, not hopefully late. not too soon. But no, I no. Mean, I'll, but come, I mean, I'll help you. I'll come help you do that. But I, I just That's want, dope. you know, I want it to go to some place that it's going to be appreciated. Yeah, no, they'll. They'll get a, a color copy of it, and you keep the originals, and then boom. So, but, no, that's dope. I like that. Anyway, that that's why that was in there. And, of course, I got... You've already seen in the other video those oh, yeah. sheet things. But. All right. We want to start it. We want to kick this open yeah. and start it up? Yeah, yeah. This one? Cool. Right. Ready. You haven't heard it, though. I think... I think... This would be a cold start for real, though, huh? Oh, yeah. I'm surprised you didn't have it out today. I was like, oh, Okay. So this, so this, this is a cold start, y'all. Not prepped. Does the dome light work in this one? I didn't put the. I was too scared to poke the hole back in the new headliner I put in it because, uh, because. Um, Look at the two. I haven't put lights. it back in yet, and and uh, mm, mm, anyway, mm. the dome light works, but it's not in there because I and I, that's why I didn't put the seat belt things either because I didn't want to poke holes. My friend put the headliner in for me. Gotcha. Uh, Mm, mm, mm. Y'all go ahead and subscribe now. <laughs> go ahead and subscribe. Go ahead and subscribe now. I'm bringing you the exclusive, man. Don't play. <laughs> See, it's not staged. <laughs> not staged. <laughs> Turn into a Mopar guy, though. I think so. <laughs> I mean, you could be like me. You can like them all, you know. Gotta get that pass on drive speed put in there because I have one for it. Let's do it. I'll 
Come over here, dude. Yeah, people, real deal cold start. That oh, sounds good, man. You know, I have one of these, uh, the trim panel. I picked it up from a guy. I picked, I picked it up. Uh, let's see, what does it have? I think it has this. Yeah, it has this part, but not those part. I'm pretty sure. But yeah, the little trim panel here. I picked it up from a guy for like 120 bucks last year. Nice. With a bunch of other parts. It's nice. It's really nice. Completely straight. Put down one of my cars. I can't wait to get my challenge done, man. Ain't it though? It's nasty, man. It just... But look, think about though, like, you got the sinister one, and then you got the one you can't look past in front of it. Like, this is just, if you didn't have nothing else but these two, that'd be it, man. What, what's up with the, that's a Valiant, oh, right? Oh, yeah, I got that. My what is up with that mouse over there? What is this, why, do you, what is this? What? No, the, the Valiant looks like oh, a mouse. Uh, <laughs> my friend wrote the text. <laughs> That's so, so random. It it, is it a two door? It's a two door. It's original wow. paint. It runs. It's a three speed on the tree slant six. Yo, cram a 6.1 in here and call it a day. But I don't even want to paint it. But I don't. Think, you know, Make it a super sleeper. But it's Tub not, it. It needs a floor pan. The floor is gone. But he actually drilled out a whole floor pan I got in there. And I need to replace it, you know. But I don't know how much. I don't know how, you know much room is probably not much room in the engine bay but if you could cram a 6-1 in here i have a 6-1 also if you really want to get nasty put a 6-1 in here and leave it how it is put some steelies and dog dishes on it and then mini tub it and then just ride like that that'd be cool i feel terrible because it's just sitting here actually some guy was gonna buy it and then i was just gonna give the money to scott you know because it belonged to him and i got it for nothing but what are you gonna Thanks. do to it does it run it's well i can't it turns over but i couldn't get it to start you know but i mean it's oh, all come together out. i'll but come out and help you out i man. just have you know so it's random, winter though. time and yeah. then it just sat there well at least get out from under the tree switch places put this there and that well, there well, them pine needles are death i know well that's why i kind of was like leaving it because now it's all filled up so they can't fall in anymore well, that's, that's that slow death that acidic pine needle death i know what are you thinking yeah you like that? Yeah. Tell you, you can make a sleep route that thing, man. It weighs nothing. You can probably lift the front up. I like the license plate 70. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's got to go on the wall, you know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's the hood. You know, there's that other hood. With the, oh, know, yeah. Uh, For the duster. <laughs> I think you're coming to the dark side. It would be. No matter what you think, it would be sad. I, I think my Perfect excuse to put the fire speed in. Side exhaust, man. Huh? You see how to reverse my wheel? It ain't the same, but this is the best I can do for y'all. Like, look at, look at that, man. Yo, I gotta get my challenge on the road. 